In all these years, it turns out that the mo one of the most prolific gaming franchises is actually Persona. As in, we've got two video games, we've got two animes, we've got two fighting games, and now we've got this dancing game, Persona 4 Dancing All Night. And Matt, it's actually a pretty competent take, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's 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 interesting to see all these different takes on the Persona universe. Yeah. I mean, we've got ourselves fighting games, adventure titles, now dancing. Now It's fitting considering one of the biggest strengths of Persona 4 is the soundtrack too. Oh, absolutely. So it goes hand in hand. It's, mm. it's peanut butter and jam pretty much. So going into it, this is goes goes hot off the uh, hot off the events of um, Persona 4 Arena, where instead of uh, fighting each other inside inside the Mayanaka Arena, we instead fight shadows through the power of dance and music. And they take this so seriously as well. This, this, this game has a six to eight um, hour story mode mm -hmm. and it is played completely deadpan straight despite the fact that they are breaking down to save the world. Yep. It's taken with all the self-seriousness that you'd expect from Persona. Yep. It is by the numbers story mode. So if you're thinking along the lines of any arc system works story mode, you essentially got it. So you've got a whole line of text and a bunch of static imagery um, cut up by a few dancers yeah. here and dance but numbers here and there. it throws delightfully dark though. It does, it does. Like it features the, in the first opening minutes, um, a young girl is actually witness to a, a, a hanging basically. Mm. So it's not just by the numbers at all. It's, it does actually um, find some really strange tones and just runs with it. But as ball. for the game itself though, the actual dancing segments, I find a bit of a flaw here. But considering that all the notes move to the outer edges of the screen, mm -hmm. which is it, it doesn't flow particularly well. And if the screen's getting particularly hectic, then you just end up missing notes visually. Yeah, so there's a huge influence with the Project Diva video games. I mean, the team worked on this game earlier until they kind of trashed it, but there's still a huge amount of influence here. So you've got a bunch of a uh, bunch of images are. Uh, kind of uh, notes on the screen and you kind of go tap to the beat and scratch. Mm. Um, unfortunately, the backgrounds do tend to get a bit distracting, so all of the notes are usually predominantly yellow, and if you get yourself a crazy yellow background with so much stuff going on, so much particle, particle effects happening, it does tend to ruin your full combos. But they do what they they do what they do what can with this structure, and you get some pretty good note charts in there. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, Persona 4 Dancing All Night is ultimately just more Persona, which I as a devout Persona fanboy will happily take. 